hundreds of feet below the surface of our ocean. The conditions are too extreme for any normal human. But Will Truebridge says he can withstand the pressures at these depths. And unlike most freedivers, claims he can dive over 300 feet and back, completely unassisted, on a single breath of air. What's the deepest you've gone? 331 feet is the world record. Can his body really take on these extraordinary forces of nature and survive? The forces of nature shape our planet, but they also have the power to destroy. Mankind is at the mercy of these phenomena. But I'm on a mission to find people who claim they can harness the planet's deadliest forces. They're ordinary people with extraordinary powers. These are the freaks of nature. Oceans cover over two-thirds of our planet and can reach depths of nearly seven miles. Mankind may have evolved from creatures that emerged from the water millions of years ago, but our bodies are adapted to life above the waves. Underneath the surface, that's a whole different story. As you get deeper, our bodies face a battle with the forces of nature. The pressure of the water above you really begins to take its toll. At just 33 feet below the surface, your lungs are squeezed half their size. You take that to the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, and you could crush a nuclear submarine like a tin can. But there are people who have managed to find a way to overcome these incredibly powerful forces. I'll meet William Truebridge, who can, unassisted, dive deeper than anyone else on Earth. It's not so much about the records, so much as trying to aspire to this perfect dive where you uh, go to your absolute physiological limit. I'll also find out how free diving can kill you, even in the shallowest of water. They turned them over, and the color from their eyes had faded, and they were bleeding from the mouth. Finally, I'll meet a man who's investigating the science of free diving. It's very easy, through a little bit too much physiological manipulation, to dive. To find out man's limit when it comes to deep water pressure, I've come to Long Island in the Bahamas. To witness a freediver pushing the human body to new depths, I'm heading to an extraordinary geological feature known as a blue hole. This 663-foot vertical chasm is the deepest of its kind anywhere on the planet. I'm at Dean's Blue Hole. It's one of the iconic freediving locations in the entire world. It also happens to be the training base for record-breaking freediver Will Truebridge. And what I want to find out is, how does his body handle the incredible forces at such great depth? Will has descended deeper than any human being, completely unaided and without the use of fins. <laughs> How you doing, Will? Welcome to the other. Why? Why free dive? Why go down on one breath of air? What's the attraction? It's a, it's a challenge. When I was a kid, my parents had this dream of sailing around the world and sold the house to buy a boat. We set sail from Spain. I was 18 months when we left and five years old when we arrived in New Zealand. From such an early age, the water was our world, our playground, and our school, so it really is a part of me. What sets Will apart from other freedivers is the depth he can reach with no mechanical assistance. What's the deepest you've, you've gone? So far, 331 feet is the world record. That's amazing. Give me an idea of what, of, of what you're facing down there every time you, you take a dive. The narcosis, the pressure, the buildup of carbon dioxide, the low oxygen, the lactic acid in your muscles. Free diving to 330 feet takes almost four minutes on a single breath. Will can go deeper than anyone else, thanks to his superhuman lung capacity. But Will knows the deadliest part of any unassisted free dive is the way back to the surface, when he must power his body back up. 
this exertion uses the one thing he's running out of, oxygen. The main danger is actually on the way back up, because uh, my oxygen is going to run out, out towards the end of the dive, and at the end I'm, I'm close to the surface. The whole ascent is almost like an expression of your will to survive, to, to get back to the surface, to the element that, that you need to support your life. Will's agreed to show me the basics of freediving and find out how deep I can go on one breath of air. So just focus on, on staying relaxed, focus yeah. on taking that last deep breath in and um, take easy, long pulls down and make sure that you're, you're equalizing your ears. You need to be flexible uh, in the body and also in the lungs. You need to train your breath hold, your ability to, to withstand low oxygen and high carbon dioxide. You need to train the efficiency of your movement so that you're very hydrodynamic under the water and you use very little oxygen to repel yourself. Will uses less oxygen to move and has trained the muscles of his diaphragm to expand his lung capacity to freakish proportions. <laughs> Just two reasons I can only dive to 15 feet, but Will can manage 330. I've tried it. I haven't gotten anywhere near as far as you, but um, it is quite an experience and I appreciate the opportunity, but I'd really love to see what you can do. It's now time for Will to push his skills to the max using the extreme depth of Dean's blue hole. A target is being lowered 330 feet into pitch darkness. It'll take days for Will to prepare his lungs for this extreme depth. Out of just 5,000 freedivers around the world, over 100 are killed each year. If anyone knows about the dangers of diving down into the deep ocean, it's these guys. Triton submarines have been building machines that can take humans deeper and deeper for 20 years. I'm here to meet submarine pilot Pat Leahy, who's building a new machine capable of dealing with some extreme pressures. What kind of depth can your submersibles get to? Okay, well this particular model is called the Triton 3303. That's because it dives to 3,300 feet or 1,000 meters. It carries three people. It also costs just over $3 million. Wow, okay, jeez. So I'm, I'm out of the running for right That's now. That's right. These subs have a hefty price tag for a reason. Building a machine that can withstand the crushing pressure of the deepest oceans is no easy task. Now, for example, at 3,300 feet or 1,000 meters, you're at uh, almost 1,500 PSI. So that's a tremendous amount of pressure. I mean, that's a little bit like this building standing on your, on your toe. Let's just say I'm in the submarine and we're, and we're down under the ocean. What happens to my body if I were to step out? Well, if you could get out, you'd be crushed. So basically, I step out of this when we're at, say, 3,000 feet, I become a beer can, basically. You'd be just munched. There'd be nothing left of you. I can't afford the $3 million price tag of the submarine to protect my body from the extreme pressure at the bottom of the ocean. But I'm on my way to meet a freediving researcher who's devised a unique way to simulate the forces that Will Truebridge will be battling with his potentially deadly 330-foot dive. 